Well, it's happening again. The irresponsible trolley company has let yet another car loose on their rails. And to make matters worse, this time there are a bunch of fine furry friends caught up on the tracks below. The only bright spot is that a cat and a dog are at some of the switch stations. The cat can control which way the trolley goes at the first crossing, whether that be south, southeast, or east. The dog controls the remaining three switch stations, again choosing whether to send the trolley south, southeast, or east. When the dog makes her decision, she does not observe what the cat has done. Whether it is south, southeast, or east, the dog is in the blind when the dog makes that decision. If cats only care about cats, and dogs only care about dogs, what should each of these animals do? As you were thinking about that, bear in mind that this is actually my dog, so you better believe that she is a perfectly strategic creature. Similarly, that cat is actually a cat from the wild population that lives on NYU Abu Dhabi's campus, so he is very well educated and very strategic, just like my dog is. As you're thinking about that, check out some of these cool books that I've written. The hint for today's puzzle is that you will be using iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies to figure out what each of the animals should do. And that's a subject covered right at the beginning of Game Theory 101, the complete textbook. We're going to solve this visually in a moment. But another way you could think about this problem is with a matrix. Essentially, accumulating all of the animals in the way for any one of the nine different possible outcomes and working your way through the logic using such a payoff matrix. But again, we're going to do things visually. Let's start off by reasoning what the cat's decision would be between south and southeast, responding to the dog choosing south. If the cat chose south as well, there would be two cats in the way. But if the cat chose southeast instead, there would be seven. So south is better than southeast in responding to the dog's south decision. What if the dog chose southeast? Now there are three cats in the way if the cat chooses south, whereas there are four if the cat chooses southeast instead. So once again, south is a better response than southeast. Finally, imagine the dog chose east. If the cat chooses south, we have four cats on the track. And if the cat chooses southeast, we have a lot, eight in total in the way. So once more, the cat prefers choosing south to southeast if the dog chooses east. If we combine all of that information together though, regardless of what the dog chooses, the cat is better off choosing south than southeast. So when the cat is working through his strategic problem, he shouldn't be thinking about this large sort of interaction. He can narrow it down by removing southeast entirely as a possibility. There's just no reason to choose that when he could choose south instead. The dog is strategic, so she can work through the fact that the cat would never choose southeast. Bearing that in mind, consider the dog's decision between south and east. There are two plausible possibilities remaining in what the cat might do. The dog might find herself at the bottom here, or up to the right. In the bottom case, if the dog chooses south, there are zero dogs in the way, and if she chooses east, there is one dog in the way. So in that bottom eventuality, we have south being better than east for the dog. If we look at the top right, we see something similar. With south, there is one dog in the way. With east, there are two dogs in the way. So regardless of what the cat chooses from these two remaining plausible possibilities, the dog is better off choosing south than east. Note that we could only make this inference because we reasoned out the fact that the cat would never choose southeast. If southeast were in fact plausible, the dog would prefer choosing east 
and have zero dogs be in the way, then choose south and have two dogs in the way. But the dog knows that the cat would never choose southeast, and so the dog doesn't have to worry about this possibility. Consequently, when the dog is thinking about this strategic problem, he doesn't need to be thinking about it as this complicated, but rather can eliminate east as a possibility entirely because south is always better in what remains strategically plausible. The cat can work through all of that as well and make another inference after that. Imagine that the dog is choosing south one of the two plausible possibilities that the dog might still choose. If the cat chooses south also, there will be two cats in the way. If he chooses east instead, there would only be one. So in response to the dog choosing south, the cat prefers east. Likewise, if the dog were to choose southeast, if the cat chooses south, there will be three cats in the way, and if the cat chooses east, there will only be two in the way. So once more, east is better than south. Thus, it doesn't matter what the dog chooses from her remaining plausible possibilities. The cat is always going to prefer east to south. Note further that we had to work through all of that earlier logic to make that newfound inference. That's because if the dog were to choose east, then choosing east for the cat is catastrophic. There are a ton of cats down there. But because the cat would never choose southeast, the dog would never choose east, and so the cat doesn't have to worry about this possibility. All told, we can narrow things down even further. It is no longer plausible for the cat to choose south the cat is definitely going to be choosing east. And because we now know that the cat is going to choose east, the dog's decision is simple. If the dog chooses south, there's going to be one extra dog in the way, whereas if she chooses southeast, there will be no more dogs in the way. Thus, she will definitely be choosing southeast. And we have our solution. The cat chooses east, and the dog chooses southeast. Ultimately, there are four dogs and two cats in the way. But please someone stop this trolley company because I love my dog very much and that cat was cute as well. And for those of you who are more game theoretically inclined and wanted to work through the Matrix version of this game, you would note first that the cat's south strategy strictly dominates southeast. In the remaining game, the dog's south strategy strictly dominates east. In the remaining game from there, the cat's east strategy strictly dominates south, and in the remaining game there, the dog's southeast strategy dominates south. And that's how we get to the east-southeast outcome with negative two and negative four, representing two cats in the way and four dogs in the way. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.